so uh with sending you lots of my warm wishes and greetings to everyone and very happy to see all of you and uh and uh so uh we can able to use such a wonderful uh, uh technology in a positive way which is very helpful and uh, so now um talking about uh that uh journey towards enlightenment yes we are we are we are we are on the path and journey from here to enlightenment so with this series or this uh journey that um i have set up some <clears throat> different kind of buddhist uh teachings so which is very helpful for our journey towards enlightenment yes so in these regards that uh, as you know that now to make this useful beneficial meaningful first of all uh, we do the short meditation is which then all the remaining time of dharma sharings <clears throat> become very meaningful useful so in that regards we do a short meditation and they follow with me all right so let's meditate we meditate that uh we uh wish to uh become like buddha who is free from all the suffering's problems as human beings animal beings and other classes of beings they are we are suffering we are trapped in these suffering problems buddha who is free from these suffering problems gain fully awakened state and he was buddha was and the many male and female human beings attained same buddhahood state same realization buddha the historical buddha also born as human not as extraordinary like god or something special just as an ordinary human beings and then gradually attend the state of enlightenment therefore we also can attend the state of enlightenment for that reason we go refuge to buddha and if this is the case if this is the ultimate freedom from the suffering problems then which will lead us to that state that awakened state knowing the true causes and the true causes meaning here the origin of harm actions origin of our afflictions how to purify them how to get free from them this is the true dharma the buddha's teaching which can help us to know these true causes of our problems and 
difficulties. By knowing that or having realizations, wisdom, then we can see the path, way that like we want to go a holiday destinations and we do not know which is the best. Then by many reasons, by many sources from friends, from families, and so on, that we learn, that we listen their advices, and then we sort of like analyze, check whether we really want or not. And that brings conviction. And then, yes, we want to go that place for our holiday. Similarly, by knowing, having the realization of the causes of all this freedom, then we use Dharma, Buddha's teachings, to support us to analyze. This is the ultimate refuge, the most important refuge. We go refuge to Buddha, we go refuge to Dhamma, we go refuge to Sangha. Out of them, this is the most important, number one, the Dharma. Those who practice these teachings, who practice these path, they are also important so that we can also get support, help. So that makes our refuge the source of the our help, protections, our hope. Buddha who show us this path. Therefore, Buddha is truly a refuge. Sangha who help us, who can help us, who could help us, who would help us, because they are already in that path, that journey. Therefore, they are also truly a refuge. But the most important refuge is the Dharma. Whether we can overcome from hunger or thirst. When we're hungry, we eat. Only making food, showing food, food, cooking, making doesn't help us. But when we eat the food, then we can overcome our hunger. Similarly with the drinks. That's why the ultimate refuge, the most important refuge is the Dharma. Now, that kind of journey towards enlightenment, 
that kind of destinations, freedom, attainment. If we think only for self, then this becomes very narrow journey. Not beneficial, not so much kind of meaningful, not so meaningful, not very beneficial. And also don't get much help if we only think for self. So Buddhas skillfully include maximum sentient beings. Indeed, all sentient beings without an exception. However, maximum sentient beings must be included in order to maximize the benefit, ease the practice, more skillful methods can be used with more beings are included. Like having two hands and having billions of hands makes differences with the result of our job. How easy we can accomplish, how easy we can, how fast we can finish. makes different, big differences. Similarly, when we include all the sentient beings with many reason, logic, we use why we need to include all sentient beings. One example, is our achievement, our success, our happiness, our problems, suffering, all depends on others' factor, others' sentient beings, not for self. If we, or if I, or we are the only person in this world, then the happiness and suffering that we are experiencing now is out of questions. How we need to overcome these afflictions only with the support of others' beings. And the very big reason is also that so many lives that we have taken so far, each and every life we we born in different classes of beings, different places with difference, family, friends. Therefore, very clear reason that we need to care about or we need to develop our compassion. That way, we start listening to the Dharma 
Buddha's teachings because Dharma is a nectar that can overcome all kind of our problem sufferings. So we all are somehow on the journey from samsara to nirvana, samsara to enlightenment. So all these importance factors, important factors, important practices, important uh, hearing, important contemplations, uh, importance of meditations, so on. They are very important. And all these kind of listening, contemplation, meditations, every part of these we gather, we collect, that help us to perform the journey, that help us to make easier our journey. <clears throat> so with that, we start our uh, now, Dharma listening. So, so far, our mind is always distracted, even when we are listening, meditating, contemplating, any time, most of the time, our mind is distracted, not able to concentrate. So without concentration, without uh, being concentrated and one-pointedly mind, it's quite difficult to see the, see good result, have good result. As you can see, when we, when we wash our dishes in kitchen without concentration if our mind is somewhere else we just watch you know a little bit but we may not able to see every sort of like details of the 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 dishes where need to be washed and clean similarly that is the meditation or concentration or single pointed mind very important in that regards So according to Buddhas, we, so far we have been living not only this life, many lives we have been living too much self-obsessed. Because of so many lives, we have been living self, uh, too much on self-obsessed sort of like habituated in that that way that continues in this life as well it is not mistake of our this life but who we are what kind of problem we are having uh, the, even though we do not wish we do not want but still deliberately we are going after the cause of problems even though we don't want to get angry but when the conditions you know pop up we cannot stop we get angry we shout yes we fight that is not our wish nobody wish in the in the more in, in, the, in the, the first sort of like i think uh when we when, the, when we wake up yes when we walk up when we get up 
nobody wish, nobody generated thought that I would get angry today and I will shout and I will fight in that way. But so many lives, we are always sort of like living too much with self-obsessed. And grasping that self and and I and my and and me, that grasping which brings all kind of difficulties and problems indeed, division, distrust, jealousy, hatred, greed, ego, everything because of that. Now this is not only Dharma things. Now modern science also has proven, scientifically proven that. As I remember in 2000, I think, uh, I think 2007 or 8, when I was studying in UK, in Cambridge, I, I remember that group of scientists in USA, in the United States of America, presented with a data proving and saying that people who make lots of self-references <clears throat> always like thinking uh, very limited sort of like uh, compassions, limited sort of like love, limited sort of like uh, kindness, always thinking about self and I and me and mine. They are very, very susceptible to all kinds of severe sickness, very, very severe sicknesses. And sicknesses that scientists, scientists could prove that. In fact, with, with that regards, we can understand, we can extend all also problem also. Why? Scientists said that people who think always for self and I and me and mine, they're, they're sort of like view, the perception become very narrow, like a very, very only sort of like one hole that they can see within only that hole. Example, if someone experiences like just, uh, just kind of like headache, and then he or she thinks, oh, I am having headache. Why me? And he or she may think if he or she believes in the other's religion, such as theistic religion or school, yes, why God give me this problem, this headache? Why Allah give me this headache? Because everybody, those theistic school, they believe God or Allah, who is the creator of our world, creator of who we are, creator of our suffering, happiness. So, which makes that God and Allah is the one, even if we, if we have headache, then they get angry to God and Allah. Yes, because God and Allah is the creator of our suffering and problems, uh, and at the same time, happiness, so on. So why me, why me? This kind of question comes. And then that brings anxiety, that brings repressions. And then even a, not a serious sicknesses becomes very serious sicknesses. So according to those scientists that people who think always for self, I, me, wine, very susceptible for all kinds of sicknesses, including heart failure, 
heart attack because their their heart become very weak very very weak they cannot think if they if this kind of people lose their one hand they think now whole world is gone their life is finished so therefore in in fact those who do not think only for self and i have more compassion yes more kindness more loving sort of like attitude like qualities they immediately can compare to others oh i i don't have one hand but i still have two eyes two ears all the you know like the the senses and the two legs one hand is still with me one hand is even though one hand is not but still one hand two legs all the senses everything with me so you know and then those people who don't have even both hands or both legs or both eyes both sort of like sort of like hearing problems or those who are in coma yes so compared to them i'm very lucky so they can you know make up the mind build up mind positively even though some little problems little sicknesses is there or going through but still it's possible that that kind of like attitude that kind of like the the outlook perceptions outlook of mind can be very helpful if we have such a positive way like that so now uh so this is very important now the modern science also you know carries such a research and you know uh so scientists also prove that now of course buddhas and the great masters such as nagarjuna chandakirti they have mentioned these since buddha mentioned this historical buddha mentioned this more than 2 uh, like 25 century before yeah yes 26 century now and then before that also before historical buddha shakyamuni who is the fourth buddha third buddha time second buddha time first buddha time all they mention about this so which now opens another dimension importance of how we human being especially need to develop these qualities such as compassion kindness you know love and so on these positive qualities are there within us yes and if we do not uh, to activate them if we do not you know uh, use them they always you know in a mood of like a sleeping mood yes they never get chance to use or activate then instead of them we activate the another another sort of like nature another qualities such as hatred anger jealousy they are also there so we we do have these two qualities yes one is the positive one another is negative so therefore most of the time we have been activating using the negative now with the dharma having the understanding of the buddha's teachings how buddha attained state of enlightenment how konyin how cherisik how manjushri how tara how panya paramita yes how white tara and so on how they accomplished likewise we also wish to you know go same journey so for that we need to take care of these sort of like how do you say qualities this is intact within us we don't have to buy from somewhere else we don't have to you know uh, search and find out somewhere else these are within us we are intact with that yes so why are we important then? and and we so far one big mistake that we have been doing is dharma 
is not an option. We, we use Dharma as an op option. Like, eating maybe an ice cream is an option. That is okay. <laughs> you know, you, we, you want to eat ice cream? Okay. But if you don't also eat ice cream, it's still fine. But Dharma is not like that. Dharma is like water. Without water, we die. Without water, we suffer. Without water, we get sickness. Similarly, Dharma is like that. Why it is not an option is, so far, we think of Dharma when we are in great danger, having a, a sort of like difficulties, problems with when someone dies, we think of Dharma. Yes, when someone gets sick, we think of Dharma. When, when, we, when, when we have difficulty with our uh, relationship or, or life or, or business or, or what kind of things, then we think of some kind of help, which is Dharma, which is Buddhas, which is protectors, Idams, great Buddha Bodhisattvas. It is not so bad to do that, but this is not helping us to get out of the problems. The problem is here. If we take them as an option, optional sort of our choices, yes? Same thing, they will also give us some result, you know, not continu continuously, you know, here and there. So we get also result little bit here, little there, but not very sort of like good result that can lead us to enlightenment, right? So we have to understand, we have to practice Dharma, we have to keep the Dharma all the time. Not like an ice cream, sometimes a day. When it's warm, when it's hot, oh, you feel, you know, you feel like to eat, like eat ice cream or eat some kind of, or drink some, some kind of like, I don't know, like something from fridge, cold juice, cold drinks, or when you feel very hot, you need to own the air conditions. When you feel very cold, you need sort of support of like heater. Dharma is not like that, in fact. When we feel cold, we need heater. When we feel hot, we need sort of like air conditions. Other, when we are, otherwise, we forget the air conditions. Once a year, we use during the, you know, like summer times. Same things, uh, the heater, once a year, we use during the winter. So therefore, Dharma, if we keep all the time, then we can really get the result. Result also is not an obvious result as a material things. Material things we can see as a concrete, like concrete. Like, like we, like, like uh, we do something. Uh, and then that result give us maybe, you know, uh, we build house, we want to build house. And then we build house after, several months and years, finally we see the result of oh, the house is completed. This is like material result, like external result. But Dharma result is within our inner world. This is not so, so invisible, uh, visible sort of object. But when you compare, before you have Dharma, after we have Dharma, to others beings who are, you know, who are, same as uh, us one year before we, we've been living like them. And now after meeting Dharma, after practicing Dharma, now it's been 
12 months, one year ago. Now we can compare self and our other beings that exactly we were back then, we were living same like then. And now compare, then you can see the differences. So that way you can see some external sort of like result of Dharma, but it is not so visible as it is inner world uh, properties, yes, like that. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> and that because, uh, so therefore, uh, it's very important to keep the Dharma all the time, then whenever we, you know, need protections, whenever we need support, whenever we need blessing, we can have it. When we do not keep continuously, when we do not maintain, or when we do not maintain the practice, then whenever, you know, like we don't practice, like we don't use the heater for whole year, and then when we want to use the heater, maybe heater is not working well, <laughs> you know, the mouse maybe <laughs> cut, <laughs> cut the, the wire, or maybe something is jammed, it doesn't function well, it's possible like that. So very important that we maintain. Then whenever we need blessing, whenever we need protection, whenever we need whatever time, it's very possible. Even the time of the death, then guarantee it. You know, then we don't have to skip an effort of dying, scared of death. Because we know, we, 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 we've been maintaining we we have like 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 how you maintain uh, driving or or swimming or or whatever when when you need to drive. Let's say if you do not maintain the driving, when once there's an emergency case, you need to drive. Oh, I learned once while, but I never you know maintain and practice. Now I forgot how to use how to drive. You know everything. It's like that. Similarly. The time of death also, if we maintain well, then we can have very peace of like mind. We know we are fully prepared for 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 everything. When we are sick, we know what we have to do. When we are when we when we when we need protection, we know. And we any and every cases in our life. And not only this life, continuous life after life, that benefits. So therefore it's so important, yes, in that uh, yeah, sort of like Dharma to maintain. So, so now our world, present, present world, going through many difficulties, many problems. Actually, we think our world, mm, material value, is you know very high actually the standard of the material sort of comfort is very high but still we, we are going through many difficulties so which clearly show that we need to develop inner world inner property now the most richest, the most richest people in the world, the most powerful people in the world, the most famous pe people in the world, at this time, everybody, you know, cannot use their power, their, uh, their, their name, their fame, with the virus, only who have inner properties, yes, then inner wealth, that can deal with these problems, these viruses. The external wealth, such as the power and Fame, money cannot deal with these viruses. 
everybody must stay away from the virus. Like that. So, our world, we are having problems. Yes, our world is having problems because of our inner world, inner wealth, or we become very sort of like poor inside. Poverty within our inner world, lacking the wealth within ourselves. That cause one, ten, hundred, thousand, million, billions being have same kind of this po poverty of inner wealth, then cause more sort of like bigger and bigger problems like that. So therefore, this time, coronavirus, how it attack equally to all the beings. There's no exception like you are president, you are the most richest person in the world, you are the most famous person in the world. The coronavirus has no sort of like distinguished sort of like categories. So only who have calm mind, very sort of like calm mind, very sort of outlook mind is powerful and more sort of like able to see the true sort of like causes of these virus and then many people died out of just like you know like like how do you say as we talked earlier i and me and mine i have this little sickness then we think oh now maybe i have coronavirus maybe i have this maybe now i have this i think i will die now i will die now making bigger and bigger 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 issue within our sort of like mind and brain and then <sighs> cannot handle anymore you see so there's a great danger like that So we need to look after our inner wealth. We need to overcome our inner poverty. Yes, very important in order to overcome many problems and sufferings. Because now this time we are, what kind of like time age we are living, we are living as like edge of information, technology, but information and technology, most unfortunately, the most of this technology, it can be used for good ways, good things, good purpose, but unfortunately, technology used for destroy other country, other people, like the very marvelous human being, brain and intelligence used to make weapon like I don't know different kind of gun, guns and rifles and and like like a like a whip, 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 like a biological weapon like like a, a different kind of like tools for war. So these all are, in fact, you see, very useless. Yes, in a way we think, or at least the the every country they 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 most of them have their what you say army and 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 so on to protect their country. But but how? Why we need to protect? Because I because each and every beings every country they think I and me and my. That's why these weapons, these biological weapons and these guns and these all kind of like, you know, more and more these intelligence and this techn technology used for such an, sort of like, 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 like purposes, different kind of purposes like that. If nobody uses in that 
sort of like extent, then we don't need, yes, we don't need to use these technology for that purposes, these kind of purposes. So therefore, modern information, the technology, very sort of like, how should you say, our body, our brain is not a dustbin that we collect lots of, how do you say, uh, uh, unnecessary information because we are filled with unnecessary information, yes, and uh, we make our sort of like um, the, the capacity of our brain and memory and our body as a, as a, as a, as a dustbin, you know, Lot of, lots of unnecessary information and unnecessary things that we, that we, uh, how do you say, uh, we used for. Because the, the, the information and knowledge that we actually can gather to use really for overcoming our the true color of suffering problems then we can really change transform free from this suffering rather quicker and easier but we use the capacity for superficial and artificial and not keeping the fact and the nature we 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 added so much artificial things with the the naked nature of the information what it is supposed to be <laughs> and that way you know more and more problems more and more sufferings you know added uh -huh. and The information, knowledge, in fact, the capacity we have, human brain, human intelligence, the, the hand, the leg, eyes, nose, everything to sense, everything to, to listen, to hear, to see, it can be used for something good, impact for self and others. Like, example, Buddha short example. Buddha used the intelligence. Oh, human beings are having problems with all age. How to get rid of these problems? Problem of all age. Human beings are having problem with fighting between family, between two countries, two neighbors. How we can solve these problems? With a question like that. Yes? Not only the historical Shakyamuni Buddha, but all the enlightened in beings, indeed. And especially the historical, historical Buddha Shakyamuni really focus on this kind of, how do you say, you know, use this kind of intelligence and the knowledge and the memories and everything used for these kind of things, yes? And then, that way, the real knowledge, you know, these questions, this alertness, this mindfulness, this uh, curiosity opens up to, to collect more and more knowledge. And that more and more knowledge take effects. They really start to put some changes within ourselves and something that colors our emotions we know okay but by by checking by analyzing by curiosity using using our intelligence reasoning and then slowly opens up mind that oh these problems the people having fighting between neighbors between friends family and countries Oh, actually all rooted, sort of like the root of this problem is the emotions. Yes, everything is based on emotions. Emotions, then check five different kinds of emotions, five destructive emotions which cause 
suffering problems between the two countries and between the two families, two friends like that. And that way, and uh, then by knowing the emotions, then, then slowly collects more and more knowledge by now listening, reading, hearing, like that. Then slowly this kind of information is not just an artificial information that we can get from the news channel. News channels, you know, half is true, half is artificial, yeah? <laughs> Very difficult to, you know, like trust. But if we keep the naked nature of the information, then that information that we gather, that transform into knowledge. Yes? Then it's just, this is not a just no, normal information. This information, this knowledge will then, you know, bring changes within ourselves. Then that, that is now the activation of our life, like that. So, that is now true knowledge of, then this knowledge brings also wisdom. So, especially Buddha said, for that, do not trust, believe immediately the informations, the news, or, or, or superficial um, news, or now through this technology, what we are seeing, what we are hearing, what we are, what we are whatever there is to, to show us, to, 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 you know, to, to, to attract us. Buddha said, for that, we use three different filters and three different folds. We need to go through three different filters to see the, 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 the true knowledge, true information. So Buddha said, first, hearing, yes? Hearing, hearing, I mean, listening. Reading, listening, all was good. But that is the first thing that it's that that reading and that listening and that hearing itself is not enough. What Buddha said that this is like we want to buy a house, we want to move to another house, we want to uh, yes, uh, and and to move another house. First, we need to see where we can move, which place, which location, yes. And then through our friends, through our family, through some senior, some experienced friends and families, through them we listen, we hear, we get their, their, their advice. Oh, this place is good. This is good. This might be good for you, like that way. But that is not enough. That is the first step. Then second thing is, then you need to, they, he told me, she told me, they told me this. You know, then we get so many different kind of sort of advices that we listen and then use our brain, intelligence, mind to check, to analyze, to contemplate. That is very important. Then if what he said, what she said, whether it's good for me or not, good for, you know, uh, whether it's correct or not, what do you think? We contemplate that way. Once we contemplate that way, then that brings some convictions, that brings some result, some answer, so some questions also. Then again, we need to filter that questions. And you know, again, filter and uh, go through these questions, go through this doubt, contemplate, analyze. Same thing like relationship, how you spend all your life with your husband or your wife. Yes? 
So we, how we choose our life partner, okay? Some one of your friends said, oh, maybe you can get married with him or married with her. Okay, your family say, oh, maybe he's, he is good, she is good. And then you need to check whether I can marry with him or her or not. We need to check. As far as we listen, we get, you know, information from others. Then we need to analyze. We need to, you know, contemplate. Yes. Then only contemplation and con only going through this will not bring us the result like we want to move to have another place or another house only by listening by knowing collecting information where to buy the house by listening by seeing not enough but con and after that second is contemplation and checking and whether this is good or not every houses that we check then the relationship as well that the you know uh, uh, husband and wife whoever yes check each other then finally you need to start now by living at that house that you want to move. Then you move and then you leave. Then you will know that is the last filter. That experience will tell you by months, years and years. Similarly with the relationship or with the moving the house. The true experience will tell you that you will gain the realization when you move that time from that the first day onwards you know then you will know that house is good or not that location is good for you good or not for you from the first day that way you know that what is now here this example is applies where in the dharma buddha said first we need to Built up the wisdom, yes. We need to build up the wisdom, knowledge, or wisdom of hearing. Hearing, hearing means Buddha's teachings, Dharma. Not Buddha's teaching means not the historical Shakyamuni Buddha only. Okay, of course, we have different kind of Buddhas. So, first is hearing the teachings. Number one, number two is contemplating knowledge of wisdom or contemplation. First, wisdom is hearing, hearing, yes, knowledge or wisdom of hearing. Second is knowledge or wisdom of contemplation. We contemplate, we analyze. That, that, that will bring you, that will give you rise up one wisdom. Then the third is knowledge or wisdom of meditation. As then we started to live with your partner, life partner, husband, wife, whoever, yes, of the friends, whatever the relationship. And all with the house that we move. Example. This is just an example. Okay. These are two examples only. Of course, there are many things that you can also bring up with this example. You will immediately you know that now what I mean, yes, how we have to go through. So in that way. Uh -huh. And so in that way, yes. And then, uh, first knowledge of wisdom or knowledge gained from hearing is like a light that dispels the darkness of the ignorance, but not 100%. This will not dispel the darkness of ignorance 100%. So, uh, what it says is, means, it means by hearing, which will dispel the darkness, but not 100%, 30%, 40%, possible, 20%. Then, second, by contemplation, gain the wisdoms, another increases more percentage. Finally, the meditations, hundred percent darkness of ignorance. So with these two, these three, you know, dispel the darkness of ignorance by hearing, by contemplation, by meditation. So the most important is the meditation. 
then the, this is this brings the experiences true experience that, that like uh, you move to that house you started the relationship that's like that now uh buddha buddha said that in order to go through this we need to also digest the flavor of buddha's teachings buddha didn't buddha never said buddha did not say that one should follow buddha's teaching blindly never one should rather buddha said one should analyze buddha's teaching thoroughly like goldsmith goldsmith check the pureness of gold by analyzing similarly buddha mentioned how we need to check how we need to check the the, the gold or diamond similarly example like that we need to check the buddha's teaching also which is now very reasonable it makes it very reasonable whether we can follow whether we can accept or not that's why buddha gave so many different kind of teachings yes so that will come later um, and uh, so to, we need to really digest and flavor of buddha's teaching that we just heard that we listen that we read yes like that and the important most important is that we are lacking or most of the time we are lacking of the personal reflection you know we 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 listen dharma and then we understand okay this is the way we have to do because because this is the way buddha have you know like gone through buddha have practiced uh, this is the way the cherishi has practiced this is the way Grintara has practiced. This is the way, you know, Manjushri Bodhisattva practice, uh, Samantha Bhadra Bodhisattva practice. We all sort of like know. But then, second thing, then after a few hours, few few days, then we forget. <laughs> In fact, the second thing is reflect on that. Personal reflection is so important, you know, that we give time to, per to, to personal reflection. That bring some impact on us which lead us to the final the meditations you know so so this process of reflecting and thinking and reasoning and using logic will bring true first understanding second the convictions then third then it moves us like buddha is being moved from the palace to then uh uh, renown, renounce the palace and he was moved to seek the true cause of happiness and how to overcome the suffering for not only for Buddha himself for entire sentient beings entire the people that that Buddha Buddha had sort of like how do you say now let's say Buddha Buddha was Buddha's father who is uh, Chakravartin means the universal king, not like one, one country king, so many countries king, like it's called universal king. So, so many problems in that. So in order to overcome this problem, Buddha went for search, right? So that kind of impact and convictions. Uh, and then once we understood and bring the convictions, we, we have the convictions, then we need to build up that happy joy at it. Because so far we have, as, I, as, we, as we know that who we are now, this life, something to do with the, our past habitual tendency. We are habituated into different kind of, you know, like different kind of like tendency that tends to do something automatically. We think, and this is our, this is my, Usually we say, this is my character, this is his character, this is her character, this is his nature, this is her nature, this is my nature. But in fact, they are not the nature. You know, they are our habitual tendency tends to act and, and uh, tends to do us in this and that way. We are habituated in that way. But same thing, we can also build up another habit, habitual, habit sort of like pattern. So these need to be habituated as a meditation. Each and every day, whatever practice we do, practice on the meditation of Four Noble Truth, practice on meditation of the 
precious human existence, practice and meditation of the the, the interdependent origination, practice and meditation on the Bodhisattva, practice and meditation on the Vajrayana, and whatever Girindara, Mahakala, Chandrasi, Manjushiri, or and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on, whatever. But this needs to be habituated. Habituated doesn't mean that just reading, just just praying and reading and making aspiration is not enough. You know, not enough. As we talk, the three filter, three filter, through three filter. First, listen to the teaching, receive the teaching. After receiving the teaching, not just finish teaching, then you know, close the, the book and then finish. Not like that. Then going again, 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 going through the teaching what we have just received. Yes. And then meditate on that. That way. That is the correct way. Yes. So important in that way. Uh, so nowadays, meditation somehow it becomes very famous in our world. Even Buddhist or non-Buddhist or whatever, everybody wants to meditate. Become fashion, yes, kind of, you know. But you, that kind of meditation we use is not the ultimate purpose or the, not the true purpose of meditation. We want to say, ah, oh, I want to meditate. But without having the sense of refuge, without having the sense of altruism, yes, that we wish to attain the enlightenment state for the well-being of all sentient beings, without this kind of attitude of mind, this kind of altruism, and just meditate. Why? Oh, I have so much stress today. I have so much problems, I worry. I want to meditate just to calm down. Yes, just to overcome the stress, just to overcome this worry, just to overcome that relation problem, that business problem, that uh, that sort of like, how do you say, uh, office problem, that piece of hardware problem. It's okay. It's not a bad at all. It's okay to do. It's, it is helpful. But we can still do more than that with this meditation. But many people think this is meditation. Yes. So you see all the big, big company, like the world famous company, they also do every day, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Even the army also do the meditations, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, yes. But the difference sort of like the goal, motivations, intentions. When our intention is not touched with the enlightenment, this whatever meditation we do is becomes very, it's, they are like side benefit. When we focus on the meditation for enlightenment purpose, they are side benefit, they are automatically, you know, you know that 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 sort of like 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 they becomes like automatically sort of packaged within that enlightenment. We don't need to focus on that. Naturally, they are you know you know uh, uh, with the part of the result like that. So temporary relief stress to achieve temporary things. We use meditation. Yes, this day is especially very very famous, but that is not the whole purpose of meditation. We can use this meditation for rather sort of like uh, more sort of important and more important meaning that everlasting happiness, yes? And free from the suffering, not temporarily, but permanently, that is possible to the meditations. So like Arahat, different kind of meditations, yes? Bodhisattva, different kind of meditations. Vajrayana, different kind of meditations, what practice we are able to do, we should do that. Yes. And uh, so these are very important. We just, we just we talk about these three sort of like faults or three sort of filters. Yes. If we are missing one of them, then the, the, the result is very difficult. Yes. Or sometimes we get result, but not so good result. Okay. Like that. Uh, so journey towards enlightenment, meaning here is we have to see the progress in the, not outside the material sort of like progress, but more about sort of progress within, you know, uh, uh, usually, generally we have tendency to measure everything. Oh, I don't have very good result of Dharma practice. I don't have good result of, you know, my practice, this practice. We always have ten tendencies to gen measure the, 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 our, uh, the Dharma practice in a material term, you know, that is not really a matter, you know. Uh, 
even even the suffering itself when we experience the sufferings our mind make up small suffering into you know double bigger triple bigger four times bigger five times bigger six times bigger you know, than the true suffering itself but suffering itself is like maybe if there is a suffering something suffering let's say each and everyone we have experiences in that we have this problem that problem that is true we don't say there's no problem as long as we are human beings as long as we have this human form we always have problems that is that we have to understand but out of 100% problem 60 to 70 percentage just from our mind we add up we we add up we exaggerate it we because of why it's, it's very clear because of how oh, i have this my because this tendency is not your fault this tendency is coming throughout many lives that result you know that's why you know if there's one problems if we have some meditation some dharma teachings background then easier to handle out of these problems out of 100 percent if we have dharma and aspect and how to deal with this we see that some realization some wisdom from the buddha's teaching immediately 60 70 percent is reduced if we don't have this way to deal then 100 percent like although the suffering is there but you know we make up our mind make this make up like very big sufferings problems so usually 60 70 percent is, is from our mind that you know this is now true like the like scientists also talk about that you know it's not what we say or buddha also said that since long back but scientists also said that now remaining what remaining 30 percent or or whatever percentage suffering now what it says this can be changed you know suffering doesn't exist the nature of suffering itself suffering can be changed problem can be changed and especially with our intelligence with our equipped uh, instrument like compassion kindness our willpower our different kind of motivations different kind of the way we think this they can change these remaining problems then sometimes even we try to change we put effort to change whatever we you know put this effort that effort we try our best but still it, it cannot be changed then buddha said in that case then do not think about this suffering again again because since it really cannot be solved yes after all you, with your all effort yes so then the best is you do more important kind of like jobs or more important kind of like 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 activities rather thinking only that kind of problem and suffering that brings then again anxiety worry depressions then remaining 20 30 percent if they if they can be changed they can be solved we do but that is important to do but if this is not possible then do more important activities things then rather stick on that this is very very it's also mentioned in the the Arya, uh, no, Shanti Deva, you know, in, in, in uh, the Bodhisattva Avatar, they mentioned about that. Yes. So, uh, so, uh, so now, uh, what Shanti Deva says is that it, if it is something that you can change, do not worry. Yes. Don't be depressed. You can change. If it is not, if it is something you cannot change, then no use of, how do you say, worry. Yes. Because worry cannot change it. Worry cannot change that suffering. That is now something they were taught based on the Buddha's teaching. You see, so like that, and and uh, so usually many of us we have tendency of continuously thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, which will, of course, create constant problems and difficulties. Because we think we think our problem, this problem, that problem, this suffering again, 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 because. As we talked earlier, seventy percentage of this suffering is make up of our mind. When we know that seventy percent is reduced, now remaining thirty percent is, you know, if we can solve, we try. Yes, we put effort to solve. But once we try our best and it cannot be solved, then 
we still tendency to we have tendency to you know constantly continue thinking about it that brings more problem more worry more anxiety more sufferings you cannot sleep and cannot eat and cannot then it becomes disaster but then rather than that you know so better do some important things more than this small suffering so like that so there are some people you know who are who lost one eyes two eyes who lost their i don't know maybe kidney who lost their leg some there are two 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 categories now two group of people one group then they think oh now i finished my life now i cannot do anything finish on my life then they stop there when some and where else other, another category of group of people oh what else maybe i love one leg one eyes two eyes one one hand doesn't matter i still can do lots of things such an enthusiasm you know positive attitude positive thinking then they can do lots of things yes there are some people who are drawing their you know like beautiful arts with their 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 even losing their hands both hands with their feet their leg they are doing like that incredible things you know like that so therefore it's very important according to this with this teaching that we need to focus we need to how to say this kind of keep this kind of like uh, outlook more positively yes and make up our mind uh or truthfully rightfully rather than false projection of perceptions and uh and then we and one important here is of, often we are not able to appreciate what we have you know what we do not have we we see of very sort of we, we see immediately and we complain of course all the time but we are what we are equipped what we have we do not see we do not appreciate so this is i think very very important as buddha talk about the precious human beings precious human beings if we meditate there we feel so happy we feel so fortunate we rejoiced we we know how precious we who we are you know and then we we, we really appreciate this whatever we are equipped equipped with for what can we do we can become buddha we can become the president we can become the everything in this world whatever the most important we can because we are equipped with that each and every human beings are same equally equipped with that so we can appreciate it that way and similarly furthermore become buddha also be equipped with that yes so therefore we need to have a positive mental outlook in short here is now positive positive mental outlook is very important yes and what we can do we do what we cannot do don't stuck there move on yes because life is not to just stuck by losing one hand or one eye whatever yes so move on because there are more important sort of like duty or more important sort of like responsibility or more important sort of activity more beneficial things that we could able to we can able to achieve and do and achieve yes so mental a positive mental outlook is very important develop knowledge and wisdom that will empower ourselves and then impossible achievement can be possible to achieve through this process through this way then so with the buddhist teaching side uh, like benefit side benefit are for like the good health prosperity successful in business all our wishes will be accomplished and of course ultimate benefits is enlightenment but while we are journey towards enlightenment if we do correctly if we do really you know journey towards enlightenment side benefit is always we can see in that you know good good life prosperity fortune and uh, pros uh, successful and 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 everything you know the positive the good the side if the, the good good benefit uh, side benefit are there that we can see here and there all the time sometimes of course the that result do not come immediately in this life or do not come immediately now maybe after a few months maybe after a few years yes because it depends on the the conditions also the law of causality is like that yes therefore like that and so that way 
Uh, I think now we, so uh, I think not much time left. So anyway, so with the, uh, so in our daily life, we need to, you know, we need, we need the alertness and mindfulness. So whatever is going, like uh, going on within our vicinity, yes, our, yes, vicinity. So whatever is going within our vicinity, uh, then Buddha said that people being who remain, yes, uh, always sort of like alert, uh, alertness and mindfulness, yes, then the whole nature become like, 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 like open knowledges. Whole nature become open knowledges. If we, if we are open for curiosity, open for, you know, our, uh, the not, like, like open for knowledge. And with that, mindfulness and alertness. And that, that way, the whole sort of like this, uh, how do you say, the, the, the nature, the planets, trees, forests, water, flowers, everything, every element becomes like knowledge. You know, they are they are they are source of knowledge. Yes, they they they, they hold hold this nature become like open knowledges. Yes, and 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 growing these knowledges within ourselves. Yes, knowledge then that helps to grow wisdom. Yes, through this knowledge, grow wisdom. Through through this wisdom, now wisdom of open knowledges of this whole world, whole universe, by seeing, by listening, by contemplating, by meditating, by yes, and then the wisdom, three different wisdoms, you know, three different wisdoms that we gain, yes, through these three different wisdoms, then we can attain, we can achieve everything in this life business relationship whatever we are doing this life world or whatever in this life is yes, this world and then furthermore for the enlightenment that way buddha also remain in such a way how to get out of these problems how to help these people's human beings yes how to help human beings and uh, this uh, uh, fellow of the buddha's kingdom peoples how to help them how to solve their problems and then search search listen hearing contemplations meditations then find that one wisdom realizations true realization three realizations wisdoms improve further develop like that way then all become social knowledge and wisdoms in that way grow and develop and and then develop and then attend the finally attend the certain element like that way yes so so now uh, in fact, with, with our also, Buddha also once become like human. All the Hinali beings also once they are as like, like ordinary human like we are, and then still they attend to enlightenment. Similarly, we also now, yes, journey towards enlightenment. Earlier we talked about some, the importance of the, 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 the tools that we need, importance of the factors that can help us to attend the state of enlightenment. Similarly, now, today also we talked some importance, yes. So, however, now we will continue more about now on Sunday. On Sunday, same time, we will continue more about um, now the, the very important part of the Buddhist teaching on emptiness, teaching on emptiness, how we can understand how uh, teaching on emptiness, then that way I think we will move uh, forward, yes. So, okay, so today I will stop here and, and then next Sunday, we will have question answer and we will talk on in emptiness and then slowly we will move uh, further all right uh, and at the same time also if possible we will talk more about the there are 84000 volumes of uh, uh, no no sorry mm, 100000 uh, verses of the panja paramita 20000 verses of the panja paramita yes uh, uh, and then uh, and 8000 verses of the panja paramita Yes, so, so maybe, you know, uh, very extensive and intermediate and abbreviated, they are distinguished in that way. Yes, they are uh, so divided in that way. So maybe also these are also talking about very important about emptiness. So we will gather in that way. 
All right, so we will now dedicate whatever we have accumulated merits from this today's Buddhist, today's the, um, the short meditations, and then especially the activating the enlightenment attitude, altruism, and then the listening to the Buddhist teachings, whatever merits we accumulated, may these be caused to attend the state of enlightenment. And may we, may all the sentient beings, human beings especially who have the greater capacity to become Buddha, may all this world, this human uh, uh, world free from the suffering problems, that is the collective karma, that is the our human depending on the, our, of course it depends on ourselves. When we do, you know, when we become so sort of like self-obsessed and we only think of ourselves, self, 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 become very selfish, become very greed, and then this one ten thousand billion human beings like becomes like that and then we don't care about others we have not much compassion to others we have not much sort of sense of uh i'll just say kind uh, kindness and compassion towards others then this kind of result like you know uh these are like this kind of world, world under attack like virus this is human actions result this is not only one human or one country it's so many human beings together so many countries beings together that results like that so whether we get free from this or not also depends on how we we use the antidote of instead of being sort of so sort of like so uh, self obsessed and only think about the i and we and only thing like that way is yes, then more about compassion about other countries other peoples other beings more generous more general more compassion more sort of like uh how do you say love kindness and then accumulation merits in another words accumulation merits which is like these kind of qualities and then slowly definitely our world will be free from this result again because if there's no causes no seed is planted we cannot see the result at all since the seed is planted the result is inevitable somehow because law, law of causality is like that so that way may we dedicate may all sentient beings able to Arise the kind attitude of mind, altruism, compassion, kindness, love within our yes, uh, mind stream that helps to enjoy this world again free from these kind of problems, sufferings. Okay, that way we completed today's sessions and i right, happy to meet all of you and take care and uh, see you Sunday, 3 o'clock. Okay, bye-bye.